Hi guys, welcome to the ISO Builder CH80WM uh, spaces. And I see there's something red up there, so let's have a look. Let's update the system. A few more packages. And the um, topic of the video is encryption, actually. So I've made a video this morning about Arcanix and the encryption possibilities. Uh, so if you want to have a look at the last last number, you'll find it. But um, today, during the day, I thought, um, how about this Arch install, right? Arch Linux. How does that work? Does Do they have encryption? I always skip encryption because I'm not interested in it, nor do I want to learn anything about it. But I do want to be able to say yes or no or simple, right? Keep it simple and stupid give me just encryption without typing any commands or learning anything about it just by way of test as i will never use it so i do believe that i have in the arcanlix nemesis scripts that you can find on uh, github.com slash eric dubois slash arcanlix nemesis you find these and i wonder did i put something in here install build and install an Arch Linux ISO I don't see it anywhere so maybe we can but can ah oh, here it is create Arch Linux ISO dot sh that's all it takes to create and that's what I want to have create a new Arch Linux ISO so I don't want to go to archlinks.org and download it. It's only the 9th of February, but in the meantime, and since the 1st of February, eight days have passed and I just want to buy a uh, pie to uh, create my own ISO. From there, I want to boot up with the Arch install. Hopefully it's the latest, it's a, new, it's a newer than the one from the beginning of February. And then I will can, uh, Test it out. My idea that I have is, can I encrypt with Arch install? That's my question. So data oh, is here, and then I say, create me the Arch Linux ISO. That's it. You get a work folder, and in the work folder, he'll work, obviously. And then later on, there will be an out folder, and obviously there, the ISO will be in that ice out iso wow now there's no doesn't make sense to wait for this to 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 happen so i'm gonna pause the video to make it a bit shorter in the meantime i'll sip my tea voila done so you see that there is a out folder with an arch Linux iso it's your thing nothing changed on it it's the purest arch that you can have with the current linux kernel with the current packages and let's test it so I'm gonna move this because otherwise I'm gonna put it by accident online, which is not the idea, of course. So on my desktop, nothing to see. I'm gonna move you here. Let's see if I do Control X would be better. Oh, it's there. It's completely there, 825 megabytes. And click, click, click back here. So this one needs to go, yes to all. Uh, directory not empty let's do it like this sudo remove out and work is directory i always forget that minus r recursive and the work is a little bit longer but away it is so now i can push it back on on the internet because i don't want to push the iso on arclink's nemesis right that would be not ideal so on the desktop I've got my ISO keep this one around for if your system fails then you have the arch shroud availability and otherwise you don't so um, archer clone call it arch what do I want to test I want to test if I built my own very last Arch Linux ISO of today with the current kernels and if I boot and I come inside the system when I do Arch install I never ever 
have selected encryption ever so what happens that's all a question is what happens if I do let's get the keys load keys PE Latin one changes my system to Azerti then arch install is the script I like and love but uh, watch out there seems to be still a bug if you're on real metal so Belgian Latin that's one uh, where's encryption don't see it yet but probably it's down there somewhere so Norway or Sweden Sweden let's take Sweden okay okay drives this is the one disk layout wipe all selected and put it in X4 encryption password here we have something that I never use so a very difficult password my first name voila systemd boot ctl let's take that one right rather than grub would you like to use grub yes no no so we keep it to systemd boot ctl swap true yeah sure root password none and then user account add user this is my name password is that password is that should it be user super user of course i should be super user confirm and exit audio pulse audio pipe this changed i think it was default pipe wire so now it's default no audio server okay pipe wire kernels linux sure additional packages no and then use network manager time zone i can type because i know what to type Europa Brussels so this one okay okay save configuration install okay what do we see now select which partitions to encrypt this is new never seen this before so let's take our time there's the boot fat 32 escape to skip tap to select and one to search tap to select that's this one enter i think i could only encrypt the one and not the boot i guess which is normal i know don't know if i'm not the encryption guru never been never will be but I want to test it out. And we try to follow and read. Here it is encryption partition device SDA2. So device SDA1 is not encrypted. And then the home, the root, my root, not home, but root, is encrypted device SDA2 this might take a while <laughs> I type these texts all sometimes as well this might take a while because you know people are gonna be impatient to think it's broken it's not broken eh? it just takes a while okay mm -hmm. device mapper we see that in calamars as well R E N S D loop. Google it, then you know what it is. Uh -huh. mount arch install mount arch install boot that's where everything happens and now if it goes base and base develop we're gone we're off and installing things now there's one thing one caveat that i really 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 don't like pac-man came 
maybe a year already ago with a new Pac-Man version with parallel downloads. I'd have no clue why they don't use parallel downloads by default or by with some kind of script. Uh, so okay, in this case on this computer will take five parallel downloads for example. So it's not used and it's one line per one, so the installation takes a bit longer, right? Look, look at these small bits, 45 kilobytes. If we download five at the same time, it's so much faster. It is what it is. So most of the time I might I write a script to make sure that the parallel downloads is active on a riser, on area, on Sierra. FS trim is activated. Just the timer is all you need to do, pseudo system CTL. FS trim timer enabled. Uh, FS trim timer. That's it. That's all you need to do. And ZRAM is there as well. Arch Wiki ZRAM. Here's pipe wire and the wire plumber. The names they come up with. Creating Eric. Would you like to shoot? Why would I? No. And then installation complete, complete with no errors. Let's put the T down and say sudo reboot. I have boot CTL and I have this. A password is required to access the logs dev volume. And That's how long it takes on Arch. And we're there. So we have an Arch Linux login here. So let's see if Eric is, is permitted to enter. It's an important little bit there. Yes, minus S, Y, Y, U. So what we've done is a pure Arch Linux install. sudo pacman minus remove X, let's see. No X's, meaning there is no X org yet. There is no SDDM, there is no light DM, there is just this thing. sudo pacman minus S, let's install Duff. We have a root that's on device mapper lux dev and a boot that's not encrypted, as I understand it, right? So now we, if we want to continue the video, which is then extra, right? Encryption is done for me. I know how it looks and feels. The only thing is, let's do it one more time and let's count it. The only thing I wanted to test is the time. So if you reboot your system, system is shut down. We click, this is system D boot. One, wait, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight seconds more or less and then he's through. So the rest is nothing to do with encryption. It's just fun and Lego blocks basically getting the stuff in that you like. And you say sudo pacman minus s. It would be nice to be greeted with a greeter. In our case, at Linux, we tend to rely on SDM a lot, if not always, right? But GNOME has GDM and um, LXDM, LXQT and LXDM. Uh, what else? SDM is for Plasma and LightDM, well, can go for anything. Like actually, SDM can go for anything. But it's the greeter, it's the display manager. Software is not installed, so a desktop is not installed. What has been a while? Deeping has been a while. sudo type minus s deeping. Now, deeping, 
will install Lightium. So Mate accepts the EAPIN all the time. So Mate is there. Cinnamon has been a while as well. Ah, Cinnamon. So the Linux Mint desktop. Um, can we have it as an arch? Of course you can have it as an arch. Is it different? Sure, it's going to be different. Linux Mint is Linux Mint. And it's an ecosystem with all kinds of applications that go together with it. But can we have an experience of Cinnamon on Arch? Sure, sure. So I still don't have anything Arcolix. This is purely Arch. Think about the display manager. Okay, GDM, MDM, uh, MDM, well, yeah, something else. Um, SDM, LXDM, and there is Lie, forgot to mention Lie. Lie is also a possibility. So LY, I'll type it if it's finished here. So sudo pacman minus S Lie, there's two letters. And that's also possible if I see it's installed, right? If it's coming from the AOR, it seems. AOR is not available, so Paru, uh-uh, yay, uh-uh, Tryzen, uh-uh. So anything AOR helper is not available on a pure Arch. But what do we get if we've done this? Do we have Xorg? I haven't think, thought about Xorg at all, basically, now. I just told them SDM and Cinnamon. I'm not aware if there is a dependency on Cinnamon or not. So let's see. Is it installed or not by default if I install cinnamon? Huh? Dependency. Oops. Not gonna install more, but I'm gonna activate something, right? Pseudo system CTL system Y. Why? I don't I hate that, right? Minus S. Bash completion. I don't wanna type everything. All right, and then exit, back in. Now I can auto complete. So sudo whoa, system CTL, and then enable, and then we chose SDM. That's it. Now he knows he needs to be. It needs to get out of this black thing, and needs to make a graphical appearance. Please, thank you very much. And SDM service is gonna do that for me and if you don't have anything behind it if there's nothing installed as desktop a hey, you just get a nice SDM then right so let's time it again one two three four five six seven eight nine all right so eight or nine and off it goes so cinnamon is in the selection. Why? Because we said sudo pacman minus s cinnamon. It's in the user share x sessions. That's where it is. If there's nothing there. There's nothing on Lightium. There's nothing on all of these display managers. And this is the default cinnamon. There is no background. And there is this. And that's the administration, which I don't need. Where is the design preferences? Backgrounds appearance. I thought it was cold. Can't make this bigger. Don't think so. Uh, appearance appearance. I'll just type it in. Nope. There is no appearance. Preferred application startup. Preferences. That's something I would like to click preferences but then I need to choose display effects general hot corners so the look I'm checking if there is something to design this thing system settings found it finally themes Advaita that's what we have Advaita dark is even a little bit better and that's Advaita and that's it so not much on a default Cinnamon system and backgrounds, please. Something nice. What's that? Not that. Voila. 
And for now on, it's just fun, right? Um, thinking, what do I need? More than a background, I need maybe some icons and some themes. And there is still so much to do, and that's what you do. You write your own desktop starting from scratch. So, yes, if I type sudo, let's go to a terminal, no terminal yet. No terminal installed, might be. So, write control, F3, going to TTY, sudo pacman, minus S, Alicrity, for example, or Terminator, or URXVT, or Kitty, or like 20 terminals. You need to choose. Here is Alacrity. I always like to end with, come on, sudo pacman minus s neofetch. With the nicest Lego, uh, pardon, logo <laughs> on the block, the arch logo, right? So this is a pure arch, control T, not responding i need to install gnome terminal for that if that if that's what i want to have i just wanted to do one thing more sudo pacman minus s y y u to show you what we're on right this is still very much a pure core extra community not even multi-lib is available on this system but that's up to you to show that oh, i have one more one more what if and i'll do the rest in another video maybe just rising this ah uh, sorry what i wanted to do is sudo pacman minus s g part so that's a graphical way of showing things i've shown you duff that's a terminal kind of thing and g part is then more graphical which should tell us something about the lux as well so encrypt encrypted x4 i don't know if i can if there is something more since i am not using encrypted there are probably commands that we can run and then ask something or something uh, lux encryption no i'm not gonna venture that way i'm gonna play with this pure arch and make it well and own it that's a good expression make it mine all right cheers